What is up guys, it's Turbo Jacob H and in this video in particular I'm going to give you a couple tips that I find like most relevant when we should talk about like staying consistent without I'll just say without meta weapons such as Wingman, Peacekeeper and stuff like that, right? So definitely stay tuned for that. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you will, please hit the subscribe button down below. It's free and it supports me a real lot, so yeah, definitely, I'll just say it allows me to keep doing these videos for you guys, so hit the subscribe button, and yeah, let's get straight to the video. Thank you all for watching. So, from the beginning, we've seen a lot of teams, right, going to this area, so... I didn't really want to land, like, real aggressively, because I literally being the last guy to land there so i've decided to land pretty passively like right next to the zone and yeah pretty much it worked out i've got like two weapons not like the best ones right you can see that i've had pistol and mozambique which is not like the ideal loadout if you could say like that but yeah you do whatever what you want to do right and uh, yeah Let's just start talking about, let's just say, not real, like, advantages loadouts, right? So you can see that I'm using R301, which is, for me, my least favorite assault rifle. And yeah, it's true. I love Hemlock. It, so if I want to have fun and play with AR, I always go for Hemlock, but... Sadly, I didn't find Hemlock this game, so I had to stick with R301 and Havoc. And again, as I was talking about R301, it's not really the best weapon, not for me, for sound it is. And Havoc is basically the same. So what you want to do here is that if you don't have like the best weapon of your choice, then the first step is do not go at the long range because you definitely don't know like the bullet drop and how you should like aim to control the spray and stuff like that so that's really really important to realize and at the same time you never ever want to go to like pretty close range right so as you could have seen here even though i don't like playing with these weapons i could have like let's just say clutched the situation just thanks to the fact that I've had better positioning because I've kept like, let's just say like 30 to 50 meter distance from my enemies and it really helped me, right? Because I was, I was able to hit like nearly, nearly all the shots and that's pretty much what makes like the biggest difference between staying alive and dying in this situation with not, let's just say not an ideal loadout. So definitely keep that in consideration and yeah, let's move to the second tip. So the second tip, if you do not have the ID loadout, try not to play as aggressive as you would with your ID loader. So as you can see right now, again, I'm trying to keep my distance with the weapon while searching for a weapon. You can remember that I've opened a supply drop but sadly there wasn't a weapon, right? I wanted to get like Mastiff or something because if I don't want to like, if I don't have any, let's just say SMG such as R99, then I pretty much want to go for a shotgun and I wanted Mastiff right about. Never mind, didn't happen. You do what you gotta do. So again, keeping your distance and that's pretty much all I will say about like this tip because I think you've already like by this point you should already realize like how important it is after seeing like these videos from me because I've uploaded plenty of them and that's basically what I always do right I don't go to like five mirror close square fight because it's not like it's not really like relevant for me with the loadout right here because I was using a Wraith, 
I could have both spotted the barrel and I've heard it, right? So the moment I've heard it, I called for my teammate and again, stay safe, which means I've closed the doors, we'll just say behind us. And what I want to do next is the, I've seen him like run away, right? So I wanted to push him and that's basically what I did. It's not really hard to push people if you know that they're running. So my third tip is if you want to push someone, make sure you're in advantageous position. For example, in this situation, the let's just say the indication that I've been in that kind of position for me was definitely the fact that I knew that he had to be reloading and uh, he was running away from me. So I basically just used that situation in my advantage and just gone for it. Fourth tip, never fight super long range fights. As you can see here, if I have had a wingman or such something like longbow or something, I would definitely be able to just snipe these guys, right? But because I didn't, I had to try to find a safe way to actually get closer to them. So I did. And it is all related to the same thing and to the same play style. Be aggressive. That's all right. You need to be aggressive to win the game. But you also need to be cautious. So that's the that's the fourth step, if I can count correctly. Then the fifth step. If you're not playing with weapons that you're like most comfortable with, then you should pay more attention than usual because you don't have like such so fast reflexes and stuff like that. So even though I have already like killed a person with the gold armor and I knew he had it, I didn't want to risk anything trying to find his loot box because I've killed three people there. So I've, I have just, let's just say, I have just repaired my armor, which took me like 1.5 seconds and then loot the armor because I've heard the last guy, right? I've heard the, the bloodhound and I told my friend he's behind me because he was in the pipe, like underneath me a little bit like behind. And that's the thing that you need to really, really consider carefully because if you do not pay attention to this, you could end up dying because you should always, let's just say, always focus on staying safe. And if you're not comfortable doing something, even in real life, right? If you're not like, if someone wants you to do like some kind of job or something, and you're not like most comfortable with it, then you don't probably like want to do it, right? And that's the thing, because if you're not comfortable to do something, you're not gonna pay, pay that much attention and you're not gonna do it like precise as if you were interested in the thing. And that's really the thing, it works everywhere. It works in games, it works in real life, it works everywhere. So that was the fifth tip. The sixth and last tip is if you're not sure about where the enemies are and if you're not sure that you can clutch it very easily, then stay safe and try to run around the ring. That's exactly what I've done. And then I've pretty much just taken the cover. You can see there is a rock and right here I'm just trying to, I was just trying to scope for the enemies and just shoot them a long range but again it's not really the best weapon to shoot long range and I'm not really comfortable with it so I've literally just retreated with my friend and I've asked him to give me a scrubber in case we've got longer range fights and uh, he actually given me it but I didn't quite end up using it because they went to close range so I just switched to my R99 and even though both of them had wingmen 
which is pretty annoying thing to deal with. And I know that for a while. When I'm really desperate, I use it, but I don't really use it that often because I don't enjoy playing with it anymore. Then I, I've just had to deal with it somehow, right? So I was just trying to take cover, peek for a little bit, heal up, and peek again. You can see that I'll just peek, kill one person, try to hide, reload, go for it, and kill the last person. As always. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button down below. It really mean a lot to me. And yeah, I hope I'll see you in the next video. And I hope the video was at least a little bit helpful. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.